All right, now we're going to learn how to change the color of the headlights. Some people want, like, let's say you have little fog lights over here or something, or you want to change the headlights. Here's how we do that. It's just so I can introduce the color balance menu to you guys. All right, I'm going to come on to here, and I'm going to go to the polygonal lasso tool. Before I do that, you know, if you're close enough, you could just start tracing, but here's what I like to do. I like to get super close, so this way I'm precise. You can even get a little closer, right? You get too close, hit the hand tool, move it there, all right? Now, use the polygonal lasso. I'm going to come over to here. Yes, you can use the magnetic lasso, but in this case, we'll use the polygonal. I'm just going to trace the headlight itself, okay? These can be a few different uh, items. Um, I'm sorry, it could be a few different lights, whatever, whatever you'd like. All right, I'm going a little bit fast just for the essence of time. All right, coming over to here, boom. The marching ants I've told you guys about, you want to get to. Now, listen up. This is really, really important. This is where you really learn the hierarchy of layers. You're going to go into the car layer. If you're in the front rim layer and you go to edit, copy, watch what happens. It says cannot complete it because the area is empty. Well, that's because I'm in this layer. Look, there's nothing in here. This is an empty layer. I need to go into the car layer so I can copy this piece of information. The reason you see that is because of this fender here. Um, because I copied a, a fender for the front rim cover. Don't ignore that. So right here in the car layer, in the car layer, you're going to go to edit, copy, edit, paste. Drag layer one all the way up to the top. And I am going to call this um, front headlight. So I'm going to double click on this and I will call it a uh, right headlight. Right right headlight so when i'm in my right headlight now let's bring everything back the way it was let's hit control zero i am backed out if i take all these layers away there is the headlight i just traced right here the right headlight now check this out i want to change the color of this right headlight here's how you do that in the layer you just made you're going to hit control b this is a color balance menu watch this i'm going to take this color balance menu and watch the light it changes a little bit so I'm going to make the color of this light like a bluish. Uh, nice. Or I can make it all green too. Or I'll make it purple. You know what? I like it like the purple one kind of. All right. We'll make it a little bit different like that one. So I know that this is cyan, negative 100, and magenta, negative 55. Hit OK. No problem. Now I'm going to go into the car layer again. Really quickly, we're only going to do the two headlights in this case. If you have other headlights, like a Jeep, it's got tons of headlights, do it for all of them. I'm going to get closer into here. Move this over a little bit. Use the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm going to trace into here. Coming around. Notice how I'm going along the seams of the headlight. And if I remember right, cyan was 100 and the magenta was, I believe, negative 55, if memory serves. Coming around. Tracing, 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 boom. Don't worry if you miss a little area. The pixel police ain't going to arrest you. You'll be all right. So over here, we're going to go to the car layer. Don't do this. Edit, cut. You freaking cut out the part of your car. Control-Z. You go to edit, copy, edit, paste. Boom. Drag layer one all the way up to the top so you can see it. If you don't do that, you're not going to be able to see it. Um, in this one, I'll call it left headlight. All right, now I got the left headlight. And the left headlight, want to make it the same color as this one exactly? You do this. Control B. I know that cyan was negative 100 and magenta was negative 55. Er, you can also come into here and do negative 55. And when you hit OK, boom. Now, if it's a little bit off, it's because the light is shining differently on that section of the car and this one. Double click. Uh, usually when you double click the magnifying glass in older versions of Photoshop, it shows everything, but hit control zero and it centers everything. Or let's say you're super close and you're checking something out. You can go to view fit on screen, which is control zero. And now bam, you've changed the color of the headlights now. So taking away the headlights, there's your originals and there's your new ones taking away all the layers. Now there's your original car. And here's where we're at right now, okay? 
Next, we're going to learn how to tint the windows. I'm going to show you guys how to tint these windows really dark. We'll get there in a sec.